it's time for the fastest. First up. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. <laughs> we are about to get our hands on, the, on a huge government report on UFOs. U.S. intelligence reportedly found no evidence that these objects are alien spacecraft, but they're, they, have, they, have, they have not ruled out the possibility. <laughs> Kennedy, what do you think? They're still lying to us. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't buy that company line at all. Uh, there's something really weird going on. China wishes they had this kind of technology. And there are even theories that the United States did, in fact, down alien spacecraft in the 1950s, uh, reverse engineered what they could, and have some hybrid experiments that they keep under wraps in uh, government programs with no accountability. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jesse, are they from Mars or are they from Venus? I don't know, but we haven't found one yet, and that's the point. Once we know. get the little green guy in our grasp, <laughs> that's when we're playing with fire, right? So how do you meet the guy? I mean, do you poke him? Do you shake his hand? If you shake his hand, that could be offensive in another galaxy. You so eat it. They eat your hand in another galaxy? No, you galaxy? eat the alien. No, uh, no. No, so, no, no, that's Greg, the first no, thing you that's, do. That's like shots fired. Then you have the whole alien world descending upon Jesse, you. Jesse, we already eat earthlings. We eat cows. We eat lamb. If we're going to eat earthlings, we should eat the aliens instead of our own brothers and sisters on this planet. Are you an alien? Is that what you're saying? Possibly. We, we could be. I could be a simulation sent down from another so planet. I'm going to probe you so and Shannon, find out. So, nice. Shannon, that brings up a good point. I mean, what if the aliens are living here on Earth already? Here's my theory. Uh, first of all, I love how they say they also deny it's part of any d secret government operation. Well, okay, it's secret. They're not going to tell us. So, exactly. of course, right, Kennedy? Uh, also, I think that they've come to visit because we have these crafts here. They might be living among us, but what I think is they took one look and they're like, nope, we're out. Earth is too <laughs> messed good. up. When you guys get everything straightened out, we'll come back. Could I Wait. A UFO doesn't mean anything. It just means unidentified right. flying object. Birds are UFOs if you don't know that they're birds. True. Those are probably just birds. This story reminds me of the sideshow when you, yeah. when you used to go to the carnival and they tell you, ooh, you got the bearded lady, uh, you got the lizard oh man, boy. and you go in there and it's just some dude in a costume. This Greg, is all baloney. That means late at night you could be a UFO. I, I, I prefer <laughs> the British band UFO. Up, up next. Monopoly seems like a fun and interesting board game, but it's the source of a lot of family fighting. One in five people have actually banned it because it causes problems at game night, including leading to physical fights. Jesse, when was the last time you fought over Monopoly? Well, last weekend I was playing Monopoly with the twins, and Sophia bought all of the railroads, all four of them. I think Good that's strategy. a garbage strategy. It's right? a great strategy. But Ellie and I kept landing on the railroads, and every time you land on one, if you own four, that's 200 bucks. So she starts stacking up a bunch of cash, nice. and then she starts putting down all of these houses and hotels. She bankrupts me. So what do I do? I'm an adult, so I flip the board and storm out of the room. <laughs> that's very Trumpian of you. That's A. I was upset. <laughs> Shannon, how about you? Um, I do not like to play games because I'm super competitive and I love my peoples, my family, my friends. So it's best if I don't play. Wow, you have a problem. I do. I really do. <laughs> Shannon, Ask my wow. family. Evil Shannon Breen. Right. Hey, evil Shannon Breen. There's Breen. your proof. I called it. <laughs> the mark. My theory right. is the mark of a bad game, and Monopoly is a bad game, is you can't play two out of three or three out of five. It's too long. So when you're losing, it's kind of a life sentence that night. You're stuck losing. So that's why you get really pissed off. I am a Candyland fan because <laughs> I love beating the crap out of those kids. They just, I, they don't know what hit them. You're not allowed. I roll to... over them like a steam. I step on them like rats. You're not allowed around kids, Greg. Isn't that what the judge said? <laughs> <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. All right. So, Kennedy, so he, 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 he's not a big fan. He, like, he plays Candyland yeah. with the children. You, Very Candyland. Do you, In you, his van. I'm assuming you play Monopoly <laughs> like an adult. Uh, I do like, I tried to play uh, electronic Monopoly the other day and it was very confusing. I like the board. I'm a tactile person. And what's your, what's your, what's your favorite property to buy? What's your group of properties? Park Place. Park Place. Oh, oh. Yeah, come on, man. Classy um, girl. But I do, there's a game I like called Apples to Apples that yes. you can play with any age and it's really fun. You're, you're given like five objects 
and then there's a card that's like, what's something that's really gross? And you have like a beach ball, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, teddy bears. You're like, I don't know. And so you have to make the case for why your thing is gross. Isn't that oh, a drinking like that. game, Kennedy? What's that? Isn't that a drinking game, I thought? Every game is a drinking <laughs> game. Kennedy. Maybe that's why you flipped the board of Monopoly, Jesse. That's right. I had a few too many with my daughters. No, Richard, no. Band